Hi, super friends. So today we're going to be looking at using communication flip books and some toys. Um, and you're going to see how I use toys to model language skills, even with the really passive uh, nonverbal kids. I still can model language by having fun with the trains themselves. So let's take a look. So this is my basic communication flipbook, and as you can probably see here, I have my fringe vocabulary, and I have it already attached to the box in which it goes. I love doing this method because then I don't have to keep track of where all my fringe vocabulary is. I just stick it straight on uh, the location of those particular toys. And today I just taped it on. My favorite thing to do is use um, tack it, which makes it kind of like sticky tack. Um, and use that. But today I'm just using tape. That's how simple you can be. So now I have my fringe vocabulary and I have my core vocabulary and I'm gonna show my kiddos what we're gonna be playing. So, hi Johnny. Look, we're gonna play some trains today. Look, look at this. I found a train, it's kind of a black train. And I'm gonna get some more. How about a blue train this time? Ooh, nice blue train. I'm going to connect them. Look. Uh-oh, that did not work. I'll turn it around. Okay, watch. Watch me connect them. Wow, I did it. Now it's time for some track. Get ready. Here's our first track. I think we need some more track. Ooh, nice. How about one more track? Okay. Oh, got it on. Let's put the train on the track. Ready? I'm going to push. Ready? Ooh, choo, choo. The train. Choo choo. Maybe we need some more trains. How about a red train this time? Okay. There we go. I got my red train. Let's put it on the track. Oh, it connected. Ready? Let's push. Choo choo. I'm going nice and slow. Wow, nice job. We had fun pushing the train and putting the tracks and putting the trains on the tracks. Great job. 